Hello there and welcome back to another Lego Star Wars City, or should we say Taylor Town video. Today we're going to be working on the final floor of the block of buildings at the back. So this is basically completing version two of the city. We've only ever done it once before. And then we started tearing down all the reference towers to build some Star Wars buildings. So we are going to complete Coruscant today which does feel unreal that we're getting these done sort of monthly, but over the next month, I'll aim to revisit a few of the older ones, improve them before we start polishing up on all of the designs. But that is a talk for next week. We will start that next week. And also in a couple of days, maybe two, three days, I will be releasing a video looking over the entire city again, just to give you a closer look if you haven't watched the previous videos, because each block is its own video, and that's a lot of content to go back watching. But if you did want to go back, I'll also leave a playlist at the end of this video. So let's take a look straight at the city. I've got a bit cleaning up to do because, well, let me show you. I've just finished recording tomorrow's short, so I've got my little tripod out. We've got a bunch of things from the last couple of videos. We've got some figures I need to put in that display case. you got to stay hydrated. Don't forget to drink whilst watching this video and a few other sets these are for a future video can you guess what i'm trying to build with them but i do need to clear this up and then we'll start taking a look at the lego city all right the desk is cleared well for the most part i completely forgot about this obelisk in the city i guess i'm gonna have to add that to my pile of things that i'm breaking down it does have its own video perhaps one day you will see it return but today is not that day in fact for now i've just whacked it on my Lego head off to the left. The room looks so dark outside of this light bubble that is the city. And of course, the city does have a name. You might be able to see it already, Taylor Town. We have some road signs in the city. I am playing around with custom printed stickers, which I'll be honest, if you've watched any of my last sort of five videos, you've probably at least heard me talk about, if not seen some of my stickers themselves. There's another road sign just over there. It really brings the city together because other than this, we didn't have any, I guess they're not road signs, they're town signs. I thought it was fitting to have one into the tunnel, but it looks like the city is just, well, I guess it is just these five flats with a few on the side. It's quite funny. We've got Coruscant Tower here. We've got the Jedi Temple at the bottom. I'm still not completely convinced about the Senate building on top. What we might do is push this back just a little bit and then add a few different towers coming up on the Jedi Temple just to make it look a bit more like the temple. I was really digging the Jedi Temple especially from the front because you could see the sides coming out at the back but I feel like we should probably move them forward or move the Senate building back just to see them a bit better again. Anyhow I really like how the Senate buildings come out with all that detailing in the middle. We put Mando on the balcony. Mando was on the obelisk last week, so I must have attempted to take that down at some point. And now on the top, we are working towards building Chancellor Palpatine's office. And I think this could be really cool. We've already got the rounded shape from the floor below it. I might build it in a little bit or do something fancy with the windows. I haven't quite decided yet. And I Pretty sure I haven't said about this. I might have said about a few extra minifigures, but we've got Buzz just flying in the middle of the sea. I'd like to add a few more scenes like that, but of course I don't want to do too much whilst we're reworking these three towers. That's how the city used to be built, very squared off. And now this is how the city is. So perhaps there will be a, another third city update when we fix those towers and then my plan is to start working on the sides here. We've got Lo-Fi Girls apartment and this nest on the side. And we don't really have, well, we have nothing over on the left hand side. Eventually after building, I think I got plans for like a few reference towers and a block of flats. I do want to build some sort of hotel for use at home, all the members to have some sort of sig fig or perhaps I can have a higher tier if it's really in demand or something donation based so that you can get a figure in the Lego city. But I guess until then, we'll just have to work with what we've got. So the only part of this build that I've actually put any decent amount of thought into is the base because we have the shape of the Senate building that I kind of do want to match. I get it's a condominium 
I think I've got the wrong piece. As I was saying, I get it's a condominium and I did want that to mean that there were sort of chunks of different buildings mashed together, but I still think it's gonna go the way I expect at first. And to solve the problem of the fact that it can just slide straight off the back, what I'm actually going to do is attach a bracket to the front. We've still got a very similar design around the outside just in case we change the bottom at any point but adding that bracket should stop it sliding we should probably add a one by two just to the front to build that out a little bit and now it clips on oh, i'll put these around the wrong way but this should keep the roof from sliding off we don't want the building going down the back of the unit and as you can see it's nice and firm on there but now i have no idea what I'm gonna do. So you know what that means? Time for a time lapse. With our base, this at least gives us something to work with. I started switching up the front because depending on how far I wanted to come out would depend how far the walls were to come out on top. So I've switched up a few tiles. Originally two by fours, they wouldn't fit because of that right hand side being up against Tatooine Tower. So I do change them out for one by threes, but then I'm looking for some slopes. Originally I tried to find some inverted ones. They were a bit too big. So we've gone with the little ones and I'm also going to need some sort of snot brick to attach them later on towards the end i think we get to that but i'm also looking at what bricks i have i know i don't have a lot of dark red so i'm getting a few different dark gray light gray allowing myself some options to play around because i am limited in dark red bricks hopefully one day we will have a drawer full of them but today is not that day and i've also got out my masonry bricks because i feel like we could implement them i know palpatine's office is quite smooth walled but transferring that into lego it's just going to look very simple and basic so i might add one or two of these bricks later on we are building this angle at the front which is just three different straight plates we're not trying to mess around too much with curved techniques because we've got those tiles at the front and we could use a bunch of clips to try and round it off it's not really worth it for just three different angles so i am adding these slopes on and hoping to try and bridge these because they are connected on a round plate i know there's going to be no way we are able to connect the studs using different plates so to make it as solid as i can i'm going to actually use these one by one round tiles to try and line it up at the front and again it's not perfect, but we're working with Lego here, so it's pretty close enough. I'm just adding some one by one squared off tiles for support on the bottom because you don't want this to fall apart if any pressure is being added. It is going into the Lego City. I not only knock around in the Lego City and things fall over all the time, but I also want to be able to get some mini figures in there, add some really cool shots. And I noticed whilst watching Revenge of the Sith, actually, that I did have on in the background that these two towers, they're sort of mini monuments in Palpatine's office. I never noticed them before and I don't remember seeing them in anyone else's mock. So I had to include them in this scene. But we do raise the floor a little bit to add in the stairs later on. You can see I've just added two one by one bricks and a snot brick on top with a plate. To get the height, we are working with seven brick tools. And because the bottom of it is already two plates up, we're gonna have to build it with six bricks rather than seven. For the elevated platform, I was originally going to use the same plates we used as the bottom, but there were a few too many gaps. You can see me adding some supports to the bottom as well. And I didn't really like the way they look. So I got a few different ones. I got the three by three round plate, which again, it didn't really fit and then I got some of the three by three wedge plates that have that corner missing and they were a perfect fit so I'm just adding some underlying plate making sure we get the support in and supporting them at every angle because I don't know where I'm going to stand some minifigures in the future and you can see they're basically perfect again little gaps but little gaps are fine I realize as well that on the front of the window, I did have a total round the wrong way, but the base of the wall is gonna be dark gray to match the window, and that sort of matches how we see it in the movie with the dark gray outlines. Because we've got the light gray going up the side of the massive window, I'm not gonna add any more dark gray, and I'm not gonna try and slope it off because it will be so close to the building next to it. You're really not gonna see that corner and as you can see i've added a dark gray round stud with a i think it was a trans yellow 
in the middle. And that was to represent the lights we see hanging off Palpatine's wall. Rather than having them built out, because we are so constricted on the space we've got, I thought I'd build them into the wall itself. The rest is pretty easy. As you can see, I'm just building up the bricks and we are going to get the window one plate shorter, but that allows us to add some different plates and tile combinations on the top of it to get that matching up to what we designed the roof. Because it's the top of Coruscant Tower, we are going to have to design a roof for this section. You can see I'm adding stairs, which are just one by threes. Minifigures are only three studs wide, so this is perfect for a minifigure. I could add a mixture of tiles and perhaps a jumper plate. I might go back now and replace that with a jumper plate and a one by one tile. And then we've got this podium in the middle, which Palpatine does use to communicate with various different holograms throughout the Clone Wars, throughout Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clones, pretty much any time we see him in his office. I have replaced these bricks with some round two by two tiles, the corner ones, just so we can see the interior a bit more. And perhaps we can get some sort of hologram minifigures to stand there in the future. So I've made it almost two hours into Revenge of the Sith and I'm pretty happy with what we've got going here. I did realise about halfway through the movie when we no longer see anything, I don't think, of Palpatine's office that I probably chose the wrong movie to watch. I probably should have gone with Attack of the Clones, which is actually my favourite out of the two. But you can see I've added so much detail into this small space first off we've got palpatine's chair and desk i've used a broken clip just to represent a few different things he's got standing on his desk and we've also got some of the statues by the window these gray pillars just here so it is looking pretty good i've added a few bricks to the outside as well just to add that extra little bit of detail we've got the lights that you see on palpatine's walls the stairs either side of this podium in the middle which acts as some communication device. I guess that's how Palpatine receives all his holograms. And then we'll get to the top in a minute. Before we get to the top, I'd just like to show this front bit. I can't find a one by six in dark red. I'm going to keep my eye out for it. And hopefully I'll find one on perhaps even something else that I've built. I'll keep my eye out and look around. But I have made the front very different even though it's still on the same base that the floor below it is on again it's very very different to the one below we'll take it into the city in just a second and this top bit here i'm really proud of all out of system we've got some slopes to get the top of the window the window gets chucked out of we've got their rounded slopes we've got some cheese slopes here some one by fours to bridge the gap in the middle and that means these round holes are out of system as well and then we've got two exposed studs on either side that this roof clips to it only actually clips to one of the studs and that plate looks a little dirty there but the roof does look really really cool as well again i'd love to get some lights in it because you can see there is quite a big shadow cast on it but that will be a future project for the city possibly heading into next year depending on how quickly we can polish up the rest of it but as for on top of the roof we have a few studs i think it's like two studs of height that i can do something to i don't exactly know what i want to do on the roof i really have no idea so if you have anything definitely let me know in the comments and i'll add it in the next city update but now it's time to place this in the city and take a look at coruscant tower and hopefully once again this fits snug on top of the Senate building, I should probably test it before I do it on the video. And there we go. It does look cool. I'm liking the Senate Tower a bit more. Let's get rid of some of that shadow. I'm liking the Senate Tower a bit more now that it's got something on the top of it. But still, with the Jedi Temple below it, I'm not sure if it does look as good as I'd first envisioned. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But I like the fact that it's not squared off like the rest of the buildings i keep saying it i really really do like the different shapes and now we've just got to fill in the background perhaps we can add a little arch over the alley and build a few smaller buildings for a backdrop of the city i think that would look pretty cool because even though i want to change these ones on the right i don't think i'm going to make them any thinner because if i push them back a little bit and just add different angles we're going to be losing enough space as it is i think the friends tower will stay blocky just so we got one of them 
I really don't know what's happening with the Lego store. That's going to be a fun one to do. And Tatooine Tower, I just want to step up as it goes back, create a bit more space. So I am actually really liking this. Compared to Naboo, I still think that separation in the middle does look a bit funky, but I really like how I managed to do Palpatine's office. And perhaps I will, again, take some photos for Instagram. Try not to forget it this week of Palpatine in there and a few other minifigure meetings and perhaps that iconic scene from Revenge of the Sith. But that is all for this week's video. Keep an eye out for the version two of the complete city tour. And thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out the videos on screen now. And may the bricks be with you always.